uh, faces disqualification from the 2024 uh, Games over non-compliance with anti-doping regulations. The World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, and the World Athletics have instituted a case at a court of arbitration for sport, seeking to prevent the country from taking part in the Games. Our correspondent Solomon Ajizogu tells us more about it. It's a case of double jeopardy and standing between the devil and the deep blue sea for Nigerian sports. Nigeria is now grappling with the danger of disqualification from the 2024 Olympic Games. I don't want to emphasize that. It will be, it will be catastrophic if we are disqualified. Not just the Olympics, all sporting events. It's going to be going to affect our World Cup, our football, like anything that we are doing in sports. The World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, and the World Athletics, WA, have long placed Nigeria on the red list for non-compliance with anti-doping regulations. Some Nigerian athletes were not allowed to take part in the last Olympic Games in Tokyo because of the same problem. This is a long-standing case between Nigeria on the one side and the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, and the World Athletics on the other side. But I think it's about time that the government um, takes the issue of WADA compliance very, very seriously. It's been, it's been a while and, and um, it has been going on for a long time and there has been a reluctance in, in um, addressing this issue. WADA and the WA have brought a case against Nigeria at the Court of Arbitration for Sports, CAS, in Switzerland. If there is a decision based on what's on ground, I don't think we're going to escape. But um, we hope that there won't be no decision. If at the end of the day we are, we are found uh, wanting, then I believe uh, Nigeria should step into it and let heads rule. Whoever that is irresponsible and whoever that has caused us to be in this particular position, then that person should be accountable. All this doping issue is bringing all coaches down. For us to work, I mean, to work hard if we are finding it so difficult. The outcome of the case in cars in Switzerland will determine whether Nigeria will take part in the Olympic Games, which begins on the 26th of July and ends on the 11th of August in Paris, France. Salomon Ajizugu, TVC News, Lagos. In the 2024 Tech Ball World Championship qualifiers have kicked